Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of November in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. You're gonna start with your wisdom of the oracle card and the card that has a message for you today is number 37 never-ending story. So this is um, pretty much uh, the card of self-criticism the wounded ego and unnecessary dramas as well so some of you might be feeling hurt some of you might be feeling loss or rejection or humiliation you can kind of see that there's this love yes no uh, questions that are kind of going down and and obviously there's a there's a, there's some kind of a voice in your uh, that you hear that just makes you feel scared or you, it makes you feel um, small as well. So very important that to avoid these uh, dramas as well. And when it comes to relationship, uh, maybe maybe there's some something here where you feel neglected or, or there are some very complex reasons that are impacting your life in terms of fear, neglect and and uh, think about how you can change that story there's definitely uh, some some challenges here with with drama sensitivity and o overload of all of these definitely uh, think about it your message here today is avoid drama and not my circus not my monkeys but let's see what the tarot is telling us in the center of your reading you do have the king of pentacles king of pentacles is a court card so it can be a person your energy or just the general energy of the card. If it's a person, this is somebody who is uh, very stable, very grounded, reliable, uh, a very wise uh, father figure as well, a, a, a masculine figure, but obviously the genders can be um, uh, reversible because this is a general reading. But anyway, he is all about long-term stability. It, it, it can be uh, a person coming in with this trait who's reliable who is uh, able to protect and 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 take care of of of, uh, of a family but it can be also a, the kind of relationship that uh, you are attracting or you are in uh, because this is all about long term stability a uh, very reliable uh, relationship uh, or maybe you are already in a relationship like that the first card of your spread is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is the card of balance, harmony, uh, generally an indication of an equal give and take type of relationship where each party is, is uh, contributing and taking roughly the same amount. It's a very uh, beautiful energy from that perspective. But it can be also a sign that somebody in a powerful position is helping you. Maybe you're going through some therapy, uh, with, with your partner or maybe people are trying to introduce you to a person when you are um, if you're single six of pentacles is also a gift from the universe so definitely pay attention to that that what kind of a gift you might be getting uh, or asking from the universe the next card of your reading is the nine of pentacles which is the card of independence so uh, some of you might be very independent at this period of time um, and, and if you're single you're definitely not looking to get settled uh, you, you are enjoying your freedom you're enjoying your independence and you are actually very uh, picky when this card is is coming up but if you are in an existing relationship this card is indicating that this is a more mature relationship that went through the initial hurdles the initial challenges and now you are enjoying uh, the fruits of this relationship and and it can be also a sign that your partner is giving you all the freedom you need to pursue your uh, passions the next card of your reading is the three of swords now luckily this is in the past indicating that you went through a heartbreak maybe that's why some of you are are, are single uh, the three of swords is can be connected to a disappointment a heartbreak of any 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 kind when when obviously it's it's hurting you but the dark clouds are indicating that this uh, darkness is not here forever it's gonna be you're gonna be able to get through this as well 
but let's continue the next card of your reading is the seven of swords seven of swords uh, is the card of lying cheating stealing so some of you might have been betrayed some of you might be have been lied to or cheated on uh, there's many uh, shapes and forms for this card to manifest and most likely that's what's kind of connected to this heartbreak but this is also a card of a new strategy that you need to uh, apply because um, like you know he's stealing those cards because he doesn't want to continue to battle he wants to kind of sit down have a conversation and 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 find a solution in a more diplomatic way and i think here for you with this never-ending story uh, when the never-ending story comes up like i, I always get this rep repetitiveness of it as well and if you kind of want to break that cycle maybe you need to apply a different kind of strategy and that's what the seven of swords is telling you so try to think about what is this new kind of strategy that you need to apply when it comes to your relationships? The next card in your reading is the Ace of Pentacles, which is a beautiful energy of a new beginning, a new chapter in your life, something that has a potential to become, uh, to bring you long-term stability, long-term happiness. This is the seed, that opportunity that you need to hold on to it and, and grab it with both hands. This can be a new uh, relationship that uh, might be coming into your life or a new chapter in an existing relationship. What's really important here that you have here a seed that you need to nurture. You have here an opportunity that need, you need to take care of. And, and if you do that, it's going to be uh, turned into a blossoming uh, relationship that will bring you long-term stability. But let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. That's an indication that the reading helped you. And you can also help me to grow this channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only costing a push of a button. So I hope that you will push those like and subscribe buttons. Only a very few percent of people end up subscribing. So I hope you're going to be one of them. And I'm always very excited to read in the comment how this reading is resonating with you. So your reading continues with the King of Cups. Again, as a court card, it can be a person, your energy, or just the general energy of the card. Uh, this is another masculine figure who is uh, very loving, very caring. He's all about feelings, emotions, leading from the heart. But he's also very balanced because he is using his brain as well. So he's not letting his emotions to take him over, take over him. And, and uh, because of that, he's very diplomatic. And it's very interesting for me here, these two cards right beside each other. If you remember with, with the Seven of Swords, we talked about it, that he's stealing those swords because he wants to sit down and 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 not to con not, he doesn't want to continue to battle he wants to um solve the problem through diplomacy and you have here the king of cups and he is the king of diplomacy right so i think being diplomatic might be pretty key for you to break this uh unfinished story that uh, your um uh, wisdom of the oracle card is talking about but again back to the king of cups uh, very loving person somebody who who is 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 uh, who can be a great uh, partner with this uh, king of pentacles uh, they are both very caring one of them is more emotional the other is more realistic so i think they can balance each other pretty well with the king of cups i always like to kind of talk about the stability of that person as well it might be that you know you've been going through some difficulties which clear here with this three of swords energy but all those waves that that you know he is sitting in in the middle of the ocean indicating how stable you've been uh, through the difficulties the challenges that you've been going through now the next card in your reading is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the card of hard work. When you're putting a lot of effort into something, you're definitely going through some repetitive cycles when this card comes up. And with this never-ending story, I think I think um, there, there's some repetitive cycles here that that you're trying to uh, break or, or break free from. Free from. Eight of Pentacles might be that, you know, you are putting a lot of effort into dating, trying to find a, a partner, and, uh, and, and obviously you're going through this cycle of meeting, dating, talking to people. Uh, but also it can be a potential that, you know, you, you are already in a relationship and you are 
putting a lot of effort into to make this relationship work um maybe you're uh, using a, a counsel as well or a therapist um, as part of this process but i can see that you're putting a lot of effort into this to make it work but what's really great with the eight of pentacles that the the, the hard work that you're putting into whatever you're working on whatever effort uh, you're putting it on it's going to bring the results that you are expecting now the next card in your reading is the three of cups three of cups is the card of celebration joy happiness parties get togethers can, can be connected to birthdays uh, or or can be connected to a birth of a child or engagement or, or anything to that uh, nature some of you like you know might have gone through a, a love triangle as well uh, with this combination of the heartbreak the seven of swords and the three of cups um, I only read it if there's any other signs, but here we do have. But again, like Three of Cups can be that maybe you are meeting somebody on a party um, because it's connected to this Ace of Pentacles that brings you this new opportunity. And if you're looking at, at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Five of Wands. So Five of Wands is the card of conflict and it is also a card of competition if it manifests in your life as a conflict then this is the kind of conflict where people are coming from diverse background they don't have the same upbringing up upbringing and that creates some differences but this is not a hard conflict uh, this is kind of like the conflict when you're trying to see how far you're able to go uh, with each other and uh, and in terms of like the uh, competition it can it can manifest in a way that maybe uh, you are interested in somebody who is uh, very picky or maybe you are interested in somebody who is is very popular and you have to fight for it or obviously the roles are reversible maybe you are this person that that a lot of people are interested in and and trying to get their attention so that's all i have for you uh, let's close this message with uh, breaking the never-ending story and, and, and finishing the cycle. So put in a comment uh, that uh, I close my unfinished business and I attract happiness and stability in my life. I hope that this reading helped you and I'll be able to welcome you again.